long as they're close to their teammates. Yeah, and Ags and literally one goal. He's gonna have it now. He's even TPing back because he knows his timing. And that might mean that Monster goes down here. Yeah, this Go time... Up. Oh, but he connects with Udomi. Oh boy, he's so tanky. The shields, the heals, they do stun him up with the birds, though. But there's Yubo with the RP! Okay. It, it's, that's ah, it. It's, it's done. <laughs> He oh, just give up after that. <laughs> That's so demoralizing. Yuma's just like patting himself on the back so Ooh, hard. Dead, but you usually seem to go for this build with the Echo Saber and okay this, on Monster, but is this really doable? They're they're going for it, but you know he's here. Hard. He's very slow though. Solar Crush is like why he's alive right now. And there's the Ravage. Mr. Gene zips in. The roll from Device gonna get him in for the Magnetize, oh, and they're just gonna get blown up. It was not doable in the end, and Envy's gonna fall. They take him down, they're onto Husky as well. Yuma's now gonna push forward, trying to clean up some further kills as he gets the skewer back onto Z Freak. And at this point, Gunner just cut your losses Ooh, and try to get away with the roll through to buy. If he hits, that would have been big, but now they want to make the connection. Oh, Yuma's chasing. looking. Link's He's coming back up. Old. Shockwave's yeah. there, zips in, yeah. Alright, Gunner. I don't think you have much of a chance of coming back, but look at they're not willing to commit. They still don't want to fight into this Aegis. They might go in now, but Esk is immediately hit up by the Roar. Nice snowball play to keep him alive, though, but now the Supernova channeling out. Can they protect it? The Old Core comes in, dropping down the ult, and yeah, they can definitely protect it. Everybody's going to get wiped out. Yuma picks up all the kills. Don't think they're going to give him the Rampage here. Oh, hold on. He's got it. He's got there the it Rampage. Is. Jeff. Yuma with the Rampage. You said it yourself, uh, Isn't Game going to be taken down just yet. Wraparound is potentially coming through. They're going to get the Dream Coil down. BKB Force. KJ, though, is low, but he's not going to die just yet. So they still have to deal with the cookies. No, they don't. KXY actually does manage to get the kill, but Fleetmere's out from Zeus. He's going to try to push in for the damage, but it's not really going to come in time. King RD is the one who falls instead. He does buy back, but the Pulverize is going to keep a lot of these heroes locked down. Meanwhile, over to the east, HFN completely out of mana. He was able to get off his BKB, though, and the meta, so he is looking to hit somebody, but he's just going to get locked down. The silence is there. The fear comes in. HFN will go down. This is getting very risky, but the buyback's going to be there. King RD in, dropping the arena, getting the spear stunned. They take out LTH, but they still haven't dealt with Yuma. The PL continues to surge his way forward. Zeus goes down, buybacks as well, but the PL just doesn't care. He's pushing in again. He's got the Rampage onto King RD. He's looking for more, but HFN is into the fight. Zeus is here to back him up. Can he actually fight his way out of this ET? He is doing a substantial amount of damage, and he's just healing. They can't bring oh, him down. No. He's able to walk away. HFN is the one who's low. He's needing a Sunder target. No, he's not. He's going to pop the Satanic first instead, healing up himself. This isn't over. Yuma heals up, looks to push back in. HFN has very little mana to work with, and he just lost his backup. Zeus does get run down by KXY, so they go right back in onto the TB, who now has absolutely no backup, no mana, no Sunder, no chance. And that might just be it. Everyone's Z Freak. But the rest of the lineup, they're a little bit spread out right now, and Gunner is actually tracking this one down. Once his BKB wears off, though, he is in some trouble. But this fight just really will not stop. Yuma's going to get jumped in on. He needs the time walk here. He is going to be able to walk off that damage. Now comes back in with the reversal, looking to really take down anyone. Mu is the one dropping low. They'll get him first. Husky now falls as well, but both of those supports immediately buying back. Meanwhile, Mr. Jeans tried to jump in very low on HP, but he drops Envy low enough for the rest of the roster to get in there and finish the kill. Envy will fall. Now Z Freak's going to get silenced up. Monster blinks forward because the Ace will stun down, but... Z Freak not dead yet. He is still alive thanks to the false promises. Husky was able to get back into this, but here's the thing. Without Envy, do they have the damage to really do this? Right now, it's looking like the answer is no. Z Freak is doing his best. Once that false promise ends, though, he really is in a bit of a bad way here. His BKB is going to be wearing off, but Gunner looking to reinitiate, using the roll up, just trying to reposition, hoping for the kill on the monster, but they don't quite have the damage. The Sand King is able to get himself away. He'll now blink out. Mu, though, still fighting. Oh my god. Snowball coming in. How is this fight not over? Mr. Jeans now comes in with the lasso. That will lock the tusk down. They need a little bit more damage to finish him off, and they will finally get it. Now Z Freak has no back. And that is actually the echo. It doesn't actually stun the Morphling, right? Like, yeah. And he's just able to <laughs> wave him away. Yeah. Let's be able to jump Nick. He actually gets the zone form off, which will help, but in comes the Enigma. Oh, he gets the BKB off, and he's caught the Lina. And then they just chase him on down. He thought he was safe, but Yuma is in. Goodbye, Earthshaker, SMD. He's trying to stand his ground up here against these guys, but he is just way too strong. The waveform for more double buybacks coming through. The Morphling able to jump away, but he still got himself an Aegis and KXY. He just played up in their face, a two-hero Earth Splitter as well.
Oh, they're just crumbling. Five, six, seven, eight deaths now for the side of the cut. They're buying back on basically everyone as Morphling still has his Aegis. It really doesn't matter. He, they can't kill this Lashrak. He's just healing through so much. Maybe now, finally, but the Split Earth is there. The Nether Toxin just doing the work. He's gone. Uh, they smoke up. They want to go right back in. But oh, there's smoke yeah. up on the side of Corey. Vitaly, he's got the gem on the front side. B9 going to be the first victim. Beyond Gone like the DD rune doing work. They jump onto the high ground. They get the break onto the tight iron. Can they bring him down in time? The nightmare, it's just long enough, but it, it doesn't even matter. The Fiend's grip out from Gardic. Stonebank is dead. And Ray Lalisa trying to hobble away. He's going to get caught by the dust. Stonebank gets aggressive here onto the Bane. Does manage to find the kill, but it's a trade. And not one you want to take. Ultra kill for Yuma here as all five heroes are on the side of Dog Champ. About Tidehunter being in the meta, you do immediately think of those breaks specifically coming from the Viper or the PA, but oh, monster, he's broken. They need to change the Oh, there's oh, the no. Ravage though into the global. Pale Horse already dead. Crow dropping low, finished off. Monkey's now. He's got his ult, but that's only going to delay this. He needs to try and get back as fast as he possibly can, but they're just right on his tail to get the slow there from the concussive shot. Yuma waveforms forward, and Monkeys will be taken down. Yuma gets all three kills. And not initially... being able to approach any fight. Look at that, Monkey's just lost half his HP in a few seconds. He does have the ult back up, but this is not the way that you really want to have to use that ult, but he is pushing. Look at this man go, just marching forward. The problem is, yeah, bro. Uh, we talked about him having to watch his positioning. Now, uh, Pale Horse, he's just going to lose this. The 1v1 doesn't go his way. Yuma's an absolute monster, and he's just going to tear through everything that moves. As they find themselves a third kill, it's a triple there. He's looking for the ultra. Okay, monster going to be able to steal that one away, and that's GG. Arkosh. They went all in on one last desperation play, and it does not work. It's a nice maneuver from monkeys. It's just, I mean, they, they basically break forget that monkey king don't unless they place this board and they're gonna break. Analog pops the BKB, bound the strike in onto Yuma. They're gonna throw the Wukongs down as well. Vitali, meanwhile, straight onto the Vailama. They're gonna be able to silence him up and take him down. The rupture though did get put onto the monkey king, but he is so safe in this ring. His so teammates split. are just gonna handle the fight. This is, as you said, way too split. Monsters dead. Mr. Jeans with the Torrent Storm and the Ghost Ship Fleet. He's trying to fight his way through this, but up against RDO, this is going to be a tough task, but they've taken out the two supports. Alicia and Garak are gone, so they don't have that save any longer, but now Vitali back into the fight with the Ascension and the Silence, trying to keep him locked down. Not enough. RDO will fall. Analog dropping low as well. They get him with the Anchor Smash, and now the Bash is coming through, preventing Vitali from getting away. They pull him back in with the X, and they will win the fight. Gem hits the deck. They just walk it out. They pop the ultimate Phantasm he on the Kiasin already. DD. Agonim Scepter. Now, I mean, he has to play this... He has to fight this so safe. I mean, every, nobody wants to stay in front right now, but Mr. Machine is going to go for Rax. It's hard to fight in this. He did combo. use all his Blink Fragments, so that is something to consider. Gardic on the low ground. Held in place for now. You did pop the Phantasm for this. You've got to find something. The question is, who is it going to be? Instead, he turns attention onto Vitalia, but the Abyssal Blade onto Tin, holding him down. BKB going to protect him for now. The Storm Spirit doing what he can. The Electric Rave doing good, but the BKBs are still there from Mr. Machine, but they're about to expire. Reaper Sight, number one, takes down the Underlord. This is going to be a dieback, but you've lost the CK in the process, and there you go. One by one, falling on the side of Mr. Machine. Double buyback. That's four. They have Rolling Thunder. They have Static Storm. They have Primal Roll. All the tools that they need. Do not have the black hole that we saw stolen earlier from the Rubik, but they will make the initial jump. They find Seb. That's a very early static storm. The mission gonna try and yeah. ensure that they can't get this kill. At the same time, the roll. Oh no, they found Toxin. Primal roll onto the Snapfire. Will they be able to get this kill? Overgrowth delays it for now. However, the Olicor does manage to steal this one back. Yuma chasing onto the high ground. He really wants Toxin and will be allowed to find him. At the same time, though, the Red here buy a little bit of time. There's the black hole. It doesn't catch the slot. The damage is gonna be out thanks to this dog pack. And Enigma, though he does manage to get the kill onto the Rubik, will not be able to protect the Shadow Fiend on the back end of the fight as they oh, do. Right away from Infinity to Roshan. Falling fast, but is it fast enough? And we're gonna try and break as much of these smokes as possible. BKB comes out from Yumi, he grabs everything. He's got the Aegis, he's got the G's, he's got the Aghanim Scepter, and he's gonna turn around a big Ravage from Vitali. Only gonna catch BB there on that Lushrak, but he gets a force that out. Mariano not gonna be as lucky, but Dad comes in. He's just getting shredded. The multi shot from these clinks is way too much. The Illusions instantly dead, and the Chaos Knight will follow Tusk. Hiding in the pick, Lightbeer comes out, triple kill from the Clinks, and uh, those are some quick fingers from the Clinks to make. 
Well, Misho gets found by Yuma. Instant Hex into the Exorcism, and that's gonna be a dead Rubik. Once again, the question is, can they find more? Natali trying to chase after the main Ravage comes out, doesn't find anybody. He pops the cheese. Yadomi, he might just go. He nightmares himself, dodge the missile. He's got the beads grip, but there's the refresher. The Ravage, he takes down the gyrocopter and it finds the Abad. And Jeans turning his attention on over, trying to take down the Night Stalker here. Yadomi bought so much time, but Night Stalker gonna make it out. Where is Analog going? Can they get Vitali? They do eventually. Three heroes dead. Analog now. Trying to cut this creep wave. He actually runs right into Yuma. He, he might get him. He had the detection. That might have been a kill. And then instead, there is going to be a Sunder out. He pops the refresher. He's got to run. Instead, he gaps the kill quick onto that vein. Dies in the process, though, as Mr. Jeans catches him with a hex.